Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Raymond McMahon of Windsor. Praise the Lord and welcome to the seventh in a series on the I Am's of Jesus Christ in the Gospel of John. God bless your time of worship and fellowship this Sunday. Praise God for being on WIHS and the Bread of Life series. My name is Ray McMahon, pastor of Praise Power and Prayer Temple and Christian School. So this last seventh I am that Jesus identified himself really as from God, came to this earth and would go back to God. Truly, he was the only begotten son of God. He said, I came from heaven and I'm going back. And in John 15, the seventh I am, he said, I am the true vine. And there were two other I am's, one in John chapter 6, when the Pharisees were going after him, even saying that he had a devil. And so they were really upset with him at this sort of thing. And so in John, actually I'm not John 6, John chapter 8, he basically said to them, before Abraham was... I am. And when they took up stones to cast at him, they were acknowledging that they considered it blasphemy because they fully well heard that this ordinary looking man, this man from Galilee, whose father and mother they knew, was claiming to be God by saying, pre existent his own natural life before Abraham was. I am. So if anybody ever questions you about the divinity of Jesus, that he is God and that he claimed to be God, now whether they agree or not, the Bible is clear. Jesus himself was clear that Jesus is God. In him, another scripture says, dwelt the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And now to the seventh of the I am's that people traditionally study. In chapter 15 of John, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman. This is such a precious teaching to the 11 disciples. Judas had left already and did not hear this. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. He's not talking about money here, friends. He's talking about the fruit of the Holy Spirit as listed in Galatians chapter Five. Do you know there, Paul wrote that they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. And then he listed, he also listed the spirit counter to fleshly sinful behaviors. He says, every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, he cuts it back, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean. Through the word which I have spoken unto you. That's the power of being in God's word, friend. Abide in me. You want a blessed life? Want to learn how to get the victory? Want to learn how to maintain the victory? Want to get delivered from easily besetting sins? You want answered prayer? He's telling us to the disciples how to do it. Abide in me and I in you. Well, what does that mean? Let's keep reading. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, and so often we try to take it over from God, now don't we? Except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. Here's the secret. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. Again the warning, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Verse 7, if ye abide in me, John 15, and my words abide in you, you individually, ye, plural, shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, So shall you be my disciples. And I hope and pray that for everyone listening. Amen. 
You've been listening to Pastor Raymond McMahon of Windsor, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.